What's happening, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to Total Blast, where we discuss everything Marvel and the MC. Because so much of Marvel Studios was disclosed at San Diego Comic Con, we're still reporting everything that happened here. We talked about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trailer yesterday. It was displayed in all age. We'll be discussing Ant-Man and the Wasp today. It's started with Kang the Conqueror and Ant-Man actually conversing with one another. Kang will soon have his own film in which he will play the villain. It will be a big threat not only to Ant-Man, but to all the Avengers. Please, be sure to subscribe to stay informed on everything MCU so you don't miss out on any of the recent videos. Let's examine the video that was shown. Consequently, this video has one of the best lines I've ever heard from a villain. My spine literally tingled simply from reading about it. I cannot wait to view the trailer after its release. It involves a combination of Kang and Ant-Man, which I'll talk about shortly. The first voice in the trailer is Scott Lang, Ant-Man, reading a passage from a book to the audience. He hasn't taken any action in a long time. His phone rings, and when he answers his phone, it turns out that the caller is actually calling from jail. And he proceeds to pick up his daughter, Cassie Lang, from prison. He wants to assist her, but doesn't want to waste her time. So he sort of gives her like a pet talk. And at this point, he reminds her that he rescued the world as an Avenger. He's immediately called out by Ank Pym for consistently discussing that topic. This scene is suddenly caught to Kang talking to Scott Lang and he says, You're a fascinating guy. And he goes on to say how many years he's missed out because he was imprisoned in the quantum world. You've lost a lot of time, he says, but not a straight line. Contrary to what you might believe, then he switches to a footage of an object in the lab suddenly exploding and everyone begins to draw into the quantum realm. Each of them ends up in a different universe and uses a new suit to get around. Kryla, Bill Murray arrives, who just happens to know Janet. Recall that Janet was trapped in the quantum realm for a long period of time. Bill Murray's inclusion of the Marvel Cinematic Universe also makes me very happy. I really do love him. Let's return to the video. Kang is speaking to Scott Lang and says, Everything you are clinging to. I am aware of everything you refer to as life. Scott then reminds Kang that he made a mistake since he's an egotistical Avenger, to which Kang replies incredulously, You're an Avenger? He then asks Scott, Have I killed you before? One of the coolest movie quotes has to be this particular one. Let's now analyze this trailer clip and discuss why Kang was chosen and why he's particularly enthusiastic about Ant-Man. In this trailer, Modok was actually seen in one frame. None of his lines or dialect was made clear. We will discuss that one as well. Now let's begin. We saw an excellent video of Ant-Man reading aloud to individuals. He has received recognition for his work and has published a book. This makes a lot of sense because he was once a criminal and has suddenly changed his ways. Now, Ant-Man is decent and living a life of his dreams, yet his daughter seems to be having some issues. Unless you already know, they have replaced Cassie Lang. The original actress who played Scott Lang's daughter was Elizabeth Newton. Obviously, this is due to the fact that they need an actress who is a little bit older and more in an era stature. Additionally, some time would have passed, so they need to pretend that she's an adult now. The Ant-Man has captured Kang the Conqueror's attention for a variety of reasons. We can only suppose that it is related to the quantum realm, especially given the film's title, Quantum Mania. It is encouraging to know that Ant-Man and the others in the group appear to be drawn into the quantum realm. Thanks to the trailer description, the audience enters the quantum realm quite early in the film. If you name a movie Quantum Mania, make sure you spend a lot of time in the quantum realm. He Who Remains, one of Khan's variants, ended the multiverse war and created one timeline by harnessing the power of the Iliad. But Loki ended it at the end of the show, and the multiverse descended into chaos again. We therefore are receiving a variant of Kang's version, but it appears that this Kang is peculiar to our universe. He has conquered or mastered many other universes because he has previously encountered the Avengers. He is taken aback when Scott claims to be an Avenger. You're an Avenger. Have I killed you before? He asks. So he's undoubtedly defeated the Avengers earlier in other timelines. Additionally, keep in mind that Kang might exist in the past, present, and future. He can also move. He is really dangerous and will go anywhere he wants in time. He can basically control the world's event. And I'm thinking that's why Hantman has Kang's attention, which is obvious. I understand that Scott was confined it to the quantum realm. So Kang might have been present in this quantum realm as well. However, 
If you are aware of this, he will understand that Ant-Man is the one who helped the Avengers to travel across time, which might have truly caused the problem for Kang. Kang permitted Thanos to snap away half of the universe, which was a portion of his scheme. The Avengers' departure, though, may not have been part of his original plan, like collecting the Infinity Stones and traveling back in time to bring back half of the cosmos. Additionally, the Avengers' travel time likely resulted in the creation of branch timelines. Despite transporting the stones back to the precise moment, Kang doesn't just follow the rules. He has control over several universes. Keep in mind that this is what Kang is all about take control of the entire multiverse. Kang may not be aware that Ant-Man is an Avenger and is the one who essentially informed the Avengers about the quantum realm. I think the reason Kang wants Ant-Man is probably because of what he did with time travel. Last but not least, Modok appeared in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania clips, but this is just a one-time shot of him and it appears like he'll be somewhat different from what we were accustomed to. The character is going to be entirely robotic, it seems. Apparently, the image of a huge face will still be present, but it will be replaced with incorporation of a broad gold face with blood red eyes. These are all reportedly going to be automated, so this might resemble Ultron in some ways, but I'm guessing this at some point. Mordok formerly possessed a human brain. The possibility exists that he just switched his mechanical body from the original human body. It could be better safeguarded in this manner. There is currently no information available about the potential Mordok actor. He was played by Pat and Oswald in Hulu series. I'll be thrilled to see him in the MCU. There has been no word about him in the MCU. Long ago, there was a rumor that Jim Carrey might play Modoc, but there has been no confirmed news to date regarding that. Please, comment on what you think of the Ant-Man and the Wasp movie video description. What do you think about the new Modoc design too? Please, remember to share and like the video, and I appreciate you watching as always and again. I hope to see you in the next one.